I'm, I'm missing them so much. So each day I do like video calls with my animals. So you can say, oh, say Amore mio, amore mio. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome back. My name is Amarachi Mzekwe and I am a travel and lifestyle YouTuber currently living in Kaunas, Lithuania. So today I am with somebody as you can see. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so she's my second roommate. Um, for those who don't know, I made a previous video with my other roommates um, because I'll link it up. So this um, is my second roommate, so I'll just let her introduce herself. So, hi. Okay. Um, I'm Vanessa, I'm from Italy, and now I moved, what is it, like, I think three weeks ago in this new flat, and nothing. <laughs> so, what are you doing in Lithuania, and why okay. are you doing uh, I'm here because I study veterinary medicine at, at the LSMU, and so I'm here just for one year for the Erasmus, and Hopefully, I have to come back to Italy if I can <laughs> uh, at the end of June. So we we'll stay together for what, like two months, around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> I mean, she's our housemate for two months. Yeah. So yeah, today we'll be talking about something very interesting. We're talking about our impressions of Lithuania, what we think, um, different aspects. So um, as you know, I'm Nigerian from Africa, I'm non-European, so I'll be talking about my experience or what I think about Lithuania from the non-European perspective and she will be talking about what she thinks about Lithuania yeah. being a European, <laughs> just like a different from the south of Europe, <laughs> from but, the because like uh, you have to know that there is a difference between the north of Europe and the south for the weather and the people, how mm -hmm. they act and all the stuff. So, yeah. yeah. So we'll be, talking, <laughs> we'll be talking about all of that. So the first thing we're going to talk about is um, population. What, how would you compare? Would you compare the population of Lithuania with yeah. the population of... I think that like in Lithuania there is, of course, um, like low density. Mm -hmm. Like Italy is uh, five times bigger mm -hmm. than Lithuania, but like in Italy there are 60 million of people. Um, and in Lithuania I think it was just 2.7. 2 yeah. So like compare this not... Yeah, the density is low. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, in in terms of population, Lithuania, um, Italy is higher More, in population, yeah, but denser yeah. than Lithuania. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and like, yeah, because like, here there is more nature and. Uh, it's more, you know, more park. Uh, even like Kunas, that is the second city, the second biggest city of uh, Lithuania, mm -hmm. is not so big. Like, yeah. yeah, it's big like a small Italian city, we can say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like within Milan, Rome, or Naples, uh, they are, they have like few millions of people only in the center of the city. Okay. So. So what what is the what is the what is the biggest city in Italy and what is the second biggest city? Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like maybe the three biggest cities: Milan, Rome, and Naples. I don't know because like Naples, it has a lot of people in the south of Italy, mm -hmm. where pizza, the real pizza, is made. <laughs> yeah. Where pizza is born, we can say. And, and yeah, like uh, even in Naples, there is a there are a lot of people, but I'm not sure which one is like the biggest, like the more population. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> speaking for me, I mean, we know that where I come from, the population is a lot. Literally, Lithuania is the population of one local government in Lagos State. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so oh in, in Nigeria we are over 180 million people. So that's yeah. one eight. Yeah, yeah, just to think that I think that like in Italy, Naples has something like 3 million people. So like only 20 is like only all Naples. Naples. Like, <laughs> and only, I mean, not in all the province of the territory of Naples, but only mm. the city center. I mean, because I have one of my best friends that is from Naples. And so mm. I went there and uh. I know this. <laughs> So the next thing is what the weather. What do you think about the weather? For me, I'll be talking about. Let yeah. me go first from the African perspective. Nigeria, especially Nigeria, is hot. Nigeria is hot all year round. Oh my so, god, <laughs> it's my dream. I think that's my dream. Like, <laughs> are you sure? Because it's really it depends. Hot. Like, I hate humidity. Mm -hmm. You know. 
So like, and I live close to the sea in Italy, so I mean, it is not so good for me. <laughs> but I, I love to go to the sea, like I mean, the, you know, to can, that I can go to the sea and swim and mm -hmm. the warm weather that we can go out. And like, yeah, I choose the right country to go to Erasmus <laughs> for me, yeah. Because here is not so good, I mean. Yeah, I mean, so like, left to me, Lithuania was really, really cold, especially as this was the first country outside Africa that I was visiting, so it was really cold for me. So I want to hear um, when you compare the weather of Italy and the weather of Lithuania, is there a lot of difference? Yeah, yeah, I think it's like totally the opposite. Just, just starting that. No, we had to say that like uh, this year it was not so bad because like in winter it was like here. I mean here in Lithuania, mm -hmm. the winter was what like minus the minimum was maybe minus five, yeah. and usually they say that in January and February the minimum is like minus 20 so yeah. it was quite good but like I'm used to Italy in which in winter there are like 5 10 degrees like it depends mm -hmm. because in the south the minimum in temperature in winter is like 10 degrees mm -hmm. and where you live maybe 5 a little bit less but it's not so cold like when I came back for Christmas I was wearing a dress and <laughs> nothing else just <laughs> because it was so warm the weather oh, okay. and and yeah it's Again, it's like totally the opposite, and like even now in in uh, in April, usually like now in Italy it's spring, and mm -hmm. so the temperature are rising, mm -hmm. and uh, there are I think like between fifteen and twenty degrees in the south. People is starting to go to swim mm -hmm. to the sea to the beach, well, and it's yeah, summer is is like it's not like uh, Africa, like in your mm -hmm. country that is like summer all the year. I think it's like. Uh, midway between Lithuania and Africa probably. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Because even here, I mean, we've had like warm weather, but it's we are still hitting like 5 degrees. It's still cold almost days right now yeah. in Lithuania. Winter is never, never handy. Like, I mean, oh I'm God. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> I went outside and I wanted to take a walk today, but I think it's starting raining again. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's actually still cold. It's still really cold yeah. here. Okay, so uh, let's talk about language, right? Uh, talk about um, learning Italian and learning Lithuania. Which would you say is harder? Or I'm easier? not sure because like uh, a lot of people say to me that I I Italian was very, very hard to mm -hmm. learn because if you think like compared to English, like in English for each person, the verb, like talking only about verbs now, mm -hmm. it's every time the same for each person, just the third, the person, at the singular, you have to add an S, like, oh. but it's quite, you know, simple. Can you, can you Italian, an example? An example of the verb? In English, yeah. like, like, I don't know, I, I read, you read, he reads, yeah. they, we read, you read, they read, uh, no? Yeah. Like, in Italian, it's, uh, io leggo, tu leggi, egli legge, like, like, the, the, um, the the first part of the verb mm -hmm. is like everything the same, but for each person it hands in a different way, and it, that is the same for the present. And we have a lot of different pasts and uh, futures, and we have a lot of different verbs. Like mm -hmm. I think, it's, it's I think it's the same for Lithuanian because I'm I didn't study, <laughs> so I cannot say. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's the same for Lithuanian because you you also need to know their like different endings for the verbs to be, to vima, to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. But, well, I mean, I will be comparing it to English because English is our official mm -hmm. language and I'll say that English is easier to learn. I think it's generally... is English is probably one of the easiest languages yeah. to learn. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think so say it. Like, I mean, I, I don't speak it perfectly, but mm -hmm. I think, yeah, it's quite easy. Mm -hmm. I would like to learn Italian sometime. Let me let yeah. me let me confess something. When I listen to her speak Italian on the food, it's really nice. Yeah. It's like music to the ears. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just say amore, amore. amore, amore. My love. <laughs> yeah, she says that. I really like it. Did you hear how she said it? Say it again. Amore, amore mi. No, usually I use a different pronunciation because when I say it, I'm speaking with my mom. But I have on the phone like my animals because you know I'm a vet, so I love animals. Yeah, we can say I'm, I'm missing them so much. So each day 
I do like video calls with my animals. So you can say oh, anything. Like, amore mio, amore mio. <laughs> the voice very sweet. <laughs> Yeah, she has a horse, she has dogs, she has cats. So yeah, horse, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk about the food. Yeah. <laughs> so, <Hello. laughs> uh, so I'm sure you already know that Italian, um, Italian, Italians are popularly you known for their pizza and pasta. Yeah. So tell me what you thought about Lithuanian food when you came here and if you are comparing it with um, yeah, Italian food. Yeah, uh, like for the food, uh, yeah, we, we eat a lot of pasta, we eat a lot of pizza, but at least like at the end I saw that uh, we could find this stuff here in the country, so it was, and they were like from an Italian brand, mm. so good, so I think it was fine. The oh. problem, it was a lot, the meat and the vegetables, mm. because I think because like for the weather that they have here, yeah. the cold temperature and this stuff, they cannot, you know, have a lot of fresh vegetables or meat. Mm. And so they have to take it from uh, other countries mm. and like it, it's totally different like you can feel it from the taste like when i started to eat vegetables to buy vegetables here i was uh, like a tonist we can say <laughs> because it was like but all the vegetables have the same taste <laughs> it was like oh it's possible <laughs> or they didn't have taste now i'm used to it but i'm sure that when i, when I will come back to italy like you know, it would be totally different. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so um, in Italy, the vegetables are fresher. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But you can you can taste it when you eat a tomato, and like you you can really taste the tomato. Uh, I don't know um, zucchini a lot. Like zucchini are like water here. For me, the difference is I mean we eat lots of spicy food and they don't eat spicy food yes. here and there's no spice there's no pepper yeah there's no pepper but of course i think that uh uh nigerians like it's pepper a lot which is also one difference and also uh let me see well a difference is that here maybe it's a it's a european thing but they eat more vegetables than we eat in nigeria so here it was here that i realized that you know people are adding vegetables to every meal but in nigeria yeah. it's not very common to add vegetables to every meal but she adds <laughs> vegetables too so i think it's a european no, thing oh my god like not so it depends like uh yeah yeah, in Italy, like as well, usually we try to eat, like not to eat meal, but at least each day or each two days. Yeah. What we are going to talk about next is the music. So, have you explored Lithuanian music? Maybe you've gone to the clubs and the music yeah. you play? Yeah, it was like, I don't know, like this happened just a few times while I was going to the karaoke night at Jump Up. That is a local a place, a pub in the city center, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, and there was, there were a few songs, Lithuanian songs, but I I don't know, <laughs> maybe, maybe for you know, like yeah, it was the music, it was not so bad, but maybe it's for the pronunciation of mm -hmm. the words, and they are different rhythm, we can say, mm -hmm. and. So, yeah, but I, I don't know how to compare Italian <laughs> music. <laughs> so, but in Italian music, what would you say is the common um, style of Italian music? Is it like opera? Is it like what? What sound? What's the Italian sound? Ita oh my God! I don't know because we have a lot of like different music. It's just not only one. You can go. Yeah, there are people that are interested in opera, but mm -hmm. it's not so common. From between uh, the youngest, you can yeah, say, okay. or like we have rap, rap music, disco music, uh, pop music, and I don't know even the difference sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just or like a lot of Italian singers that sing only maybe in Italian or only in English, or like uh, classic music, music yeah, yeah, classic music. So or or like uh, it's like once. Not not now, but one time it was even very common to do uh, ballads, you can mm, say, yeah, you know, or like, yeah, or usually if you go to an um, event mm -hmm. in, a, in a city, maybe we are usually in summer, we have a lot of events, like the events for the, I don't know, um, beef meat, mm -hmm. with all the beef meat in which the 
central theme is you know the meat or yeah. some kind or the central theme is like a kind of typical food so you go there you can find music but it's mm -hmm. like traditional music popular music we can say so like I don't think we have like uh, only one kind of it yeah it's like it depends which age you have in which city you live yeah it's like Italy is very you can say it, yeah, it's nice. not all the same yeah for the food, uh, the typical food, the music, uh, the dialect, how we speak, what, yeah, even how we act, and this stuff is totally divided. We can say, yeah. Um, so yeah. I think for me, of course, the music is very different because we have um, there's the Afro beats, which is our sound. So also our songs are usually higher tempo than the Lithuanian songs, and the rhythm is different. But generally, I'm I'm being introduced to some Lithuanian songs which I like. In fact, I have I made a playlist on Spotify that I could share with you if you're interested mm -hmm. of Lithuanian music that you yeah. can listen to. <laughs> that is nice. So I'm trying to get yeah. into it. Also, the songs that they play in the clubs, they are very different, right? Because it's easy going. It's like. For you to raise your yeah. hand, <laughs> but I'm used to the one that will make you, you know, jump. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So yeah, when we go to dance as well, we have mainly this kind of music, a lot, a lot of like Latin music as mm. well, Spanish music, even mm. to dance, to move. Yeah, I think like our kinds of music are more close, similar. more similar. Yeah, than the Lithuanian one. Yeah, Lithuanian. and I think Italians know how to dance too. <laughs> but oh my god. <laughs> Like yeah, you yeah, like uh, I am so good dancing. Like I'm very, you know, not so. I, I'm very rigid. You mm. can say, no, I need to move well, better. Well, I mean, there are some Nigerians that can dance too. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So finally, the the last thing we're going to be talking about is the people. How do you um? How would you compare the feel? So, but let me start in this yeah. one. So in in. In Nigeria, I think people are warmer in Nigeria. People are more willing to help strangers. People are loud. People are vocal. People like Nigeria is very uh, bubbly when it comes to uh, noise. <laughs> if I put it like that, well, like Nigerians yeah. like to speak out. Like Nigerians like to party. Nigerians like to. They are just warm people generally, yeah. and they like to have a lot of fun. So, which is a bit different from what I'm used to here, because in Lithuania, yeah. people are colder, if you say so. Yeah, people sure. don't really smile. <laughs> don't really smell, smell. In ah, Lithuania. smile. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like. Smile. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. I think they like the, like we can say they are like meteopathic, meteopathic. Like they don't know really the word, but. Uh, it means that the how they act it changes with the weather, and mm. if you think that uh, the weather is bad, like nine, ten months per year <laughs> <laughs> or twelve, so I mean they're not. I, I mean no, we cannot say that all the people, Lithuanian people, are bad. Of course, like the same difference that you find you found with the um, um, we uh, the people of your country. It's the same like in Italy, we are more warmer, we want to do more parties mm -hmm. and uh, going out, uh, we have more and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we, we saw this difference of course. Yeah, I, I mean somebody, uh, I was having this conversation, I mentioned something like that on Twitter and someone yeah. said, you know, he thinks that the mode and the fact that Lithuanians are more serious has to do with their history and being under Russia, so that mm -hmm. kind of makes them more serious but another thing that i've noticed is that most times you should not judge them by their facial expression no because sometimes they are not smiling they look straight faced but when you actually talk to them they yeah. are warm yeah it depends but usually like in europe there is this like story we can say in which like the uh, countries of the south of Europe are more warmer and more, you know, and more uh, they want to help more if you need and uh, more sweet, they smile more, they want to do more parties and this stuff and usually in the north countries they are more cold, closed, uh, serious. yeah, serious and this stuff and usually, yeah. yeah and usually a lot of people say that this is even for the weather 
that yeah. the weather can influence you a lot. Yeah. And for this, usually in the north of Europe, usually there are even more suicides. <laughs> we can say it's, it's bad to say, but it's real. Yeah. For the weather, we are more depressed. Uh, you know, maybe it's you know all uh, all together like that. You are more depressed. You don't want to do a lot of stuff. You are more tired. And mm -hmm. You don't smile a lot. Mm -hmm. like, I I think I agree with that because yeah. I also noticed that during the winter, January, February, my mood was like. Oh my God! Yeah, absolutely. Like I could feel a lot the like I was influenced a lot this year. Like maybe I'm not more depressed, but for the things I'm more anxious. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I'm more. I get excited more easily and I'm more scared of stuff mm -hmm. like now with the all the story with for the virus and the quarantine and yeah. stuff yeah yeah I can, I can feel myself more stressed <laughs> so anyway take your vitamin D it will make yeah, you feel sure. better I make you feel yes I need to yeah so um that's it uh, we've come to the end of this video I hope that we're able to communicate some little differences that we from our own perspective from our country and from Lithuania and if you have any questions or if you find any idea interesting or if you I don't know if you have more questions to ask us you can just yeah. leave a comment below and um, yeah so and let me know if you want to see her face more yeah. <laughs> if you want to see her face more I can bribe her to come and we talk about other things yeah we can, we can do it if yeah. you want <laughs> yeah so thank yeah. you for watching till the end please don't forget to subscribe and if you liked this video give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to other people so yeah thank you and okay. see you in Bye. my next video Bye.